just as easy to work on the road as it is at home. The most important part of the bus. <laughs> that would be so cool. I could have a traveling art studio or, or something. It's dark outside, lights are on inside. It looks like stained glass. I'm Nikki May. I'm an artist and designer and I am based out of Paducah, Kentucky. And uh, this is my bus, the Doodle Bus. We are standing right here in my office, living room space. I'm a web designer, and so a desk is very important to me. So I have a great little setup here, Ikea desk. I've downsized from um, a really big external monitor, giant printer, um, to this, it's just my my MacBook Pro and a little external display that's super, super handy. Fits in a carrying case, I can take it anywhere. And a tiny little printer. Instead of a desk chair, I have this ottoman, which has an amazing amount of storage in it. One of my very favorite features of the bus are these upper shelves. I don't like the look of big, heavy cabinets that feel like they close in the space. I wanted it to be as open as possible. I wanted to keep all the windows, so I put a shelf above it. It's a, like a walnut color wood with a copper railing, and it holds everything. This is my closet. This is my only hanging space. It's like one foot of hanging space for closet and a mirror on the inside. So these curtains are made, they're, they're called cantha cloth, and they're they're made out of like old saris and other like Indian fabrics, just like remnants from other things that were made and they're pieced, patchworked together and turned into throws. And I bought like a big stack of them that I had in my house that I just tossed over chairs or a couch. And that was one of the first things I thought of when I decided to do the bus that they would make amazing curtains and I love them. And it looks really cool at night from the outside when it's dark outside, lights are on inside, it looks like stained glass. Welcome to the most important part of the bus. <laughs> this is part one of my bathroom. You might think it's also in my kitchen and living room, which it sort of is, but this tub is what was the most important part of my build. I really designed everything around it. I chose the bus. Ideally, I would have liked to have a smaller bus so I could fit more, park more spaces, stay more space, more places. I, I was thinking like 25 to 28 feet would have been great, but um, it's hard to fit a big bed and a big bathtub in a small bus. So I ended up with a 35 foot bus. Uh, so this is my bathtub. Um, it's acrylic, so it's not very heavy. And another super great feature of it is it has um, wool insulation inside the wall. So the water stays hot a really long time, which is great if you have a small hot water tank. I have a tankless on-demand heater, so I don't have to worry about that as much, but it's still nice to keep the water hot as much as possible. And because of this sucker, I have um, 200 gallons of fresh water and a 100 gallon gray water tank. It has a separate faucet with a handheld sprayer, which is really handy. And um, if I wanted to, I could put this sprayer out the window and wash my dog or something. That's my one biggest luxury. And I haven't seen anybody else with a tub this size. I'm sure there's someone out there who's done a big tub, but I haven't seen it yet. I have always loved to travel, and I don't like to go on uh, an occasional week-long vacation. I like to go somewhere for a month or two or three. I don't know, maybe 15 years ago, I went to Mexico for three months. I wanted to take a, a week-long art workshop, 
and it was cheaper to rent an apartment for a month than for a, than a hotel for a week. At the time, I still worked for IBM, and so I just worked remotely. Um, all I needed is an internet connection. The first time I thought about doing anything in a school bus was maybe 10 years ago on a, on a road trip. I saw a beautiful big black school bus on the side of the road for sale, and I just thought, oh man, that would be so cool. That was before I heard of schoolies at all or even knew that anybody was doing this kind of thing and I didn't think about living it I just thought man that would be so cool I could have a traveling art studio or or something um, but then I didn't think about it again for a while and then I don't remember how I came across schoolies but I started watching every video I could and following schoolies on Instagram and just started thinking, why not? <laughs>
a urine diverter, so it separates liquids from solids. And the liquids are um, routed into its own tank. And I have a tankless on-demand propane water heater. So I thought that was necessary for filling a big bathtub. And I am not sorry about it. I have this cabinet in here, which holds absolutely everything. All my toiletries, cleaning supplies, vitamins, absolutely everything. So my favorite feature of the bathroom, I love this barn door. When I close the bathroom door, I have a pantry and bar in here. It has deep shelves that hold everything in place. And then this has a magnet that clips to it when it's open. So I make sure that it's open when I drive and I can store a lot of food and, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. I have a washer dryer combo in here that I haven't used yet because this is my first trip. But although I've been living in the, in the bus since April, I've been in my hometown. So I've been using my sister's laundry. Um, this is going to be super handy, but it's not very big or very efficient. My plan for travel, like I said, this is my first trip, but my plan is not to like, a lot of people wanna hit all the state parks, go to every state. Um, I wanna go someplace and stay long enough to feel like what it feels like to live in a place. So my plan is to go somewhere for at least a few weeks, maybe even a month, maybe longer, who knows. Um, and then visit people I know along the way. So my travel plan, travel slash work plan, is to do my traveling early in the morning so I can get set up somewhere and then work the rest of the day. Uh, and um, at, least, at least when I'm on my way somewhere, like for example, when I came here, um, it's 350 miles, which is not that far. I would have no problem driving that in one day in a car. But because, especially because it's my first time going anywhere in the bus, I actually split that into three days. So I wasn't driving more than like two to three hours a day. Um, and so I drove first thing in the morning, got somewhere set up and then had the afternoon to work. While I've been here at School East Warm, I've been, if there's a community breakfast, I'll go have breakfast with everybody, come work during the day and then join whatever evening activities going on. So, um, so it's really just as easy to work on the road as it is at home. And I've been working on the road a lot anyway because I travel a lot and I can just work anywhere. Welcome to my bedroom. You'll notice that it's built up from the floor and that is because I have this super awesome table. It's an antique wallpaper pasting table. It is seven feet long and two feet wide, but it, fold, it hinges and folds in half. And I wanted to be able to bring it with me to set out outside and use to make art on or to set up and sell my art somewhere. So we built the floor up and from the back, it can slide under and fit in there. I don't have it with me on this trip because I still have work to be done on the bus. Um, but that's why it's taller. And then my bed is ridiculously tall. I need a step to get up to it because 200 gallons of water takes up a lot of space. So that's under my bed and all my electrical stuff is under the bed on the other side. I have a dresser on this side with three drawers and I have a little desk area here. I also host a podcast and um, I'm going to try to figure out how to podcast in the bus, which is gonna be a challenge because noise. So we're going to try that. Haven't tried it yet. Um, 
But I, yeah, I host a podcast. It's called Stardust Society, and it's for artists in business. I have a queen size bed, um, which is super, super hard to make. <laughs> it fills up the whole space and it's hard to get into, but I love it. And um, I have some drawers underneath. For heat and air in here, I have um, two mini splits. So I have one in the very front and I have one above the bed and the outside parts are mounted under the bus. Welcome to my super awesome deck. I wanted to add just a little small deck to the back of the bus with just enough room for my bike to be stored on here and maybe a little chair. But uh, the guys who are doing the work for me um, are great at coming up with new ideas and making things bigger and better than I even thought of. So they said, well, why don't we make it a little bigger and we can put a generator. So this, I'm sitting on a box for a generator. So I have a nice big generator in here. I haven't had to use it yet because so far I've either had hookups or my solar has been sufficient. Um, but it's nice to know that I have it as a backup. Um, and then uh, I have a bike, a bike rack just screwed into the, into the floor. My bike just clips onto it and they welded this together for me. And I, I have, instead of just a little step stool, I have this giant, awesome ladder that is really, really secure and it folds up when I drive. And then underneath the ladder is a big storage box. And then on each side under the deck, there's two more boxes. That's my battery banks. I have eight 100 amp hour Battleborn batteries. This is from Flagpole Buddy, which is a company that makes their main thing is they make flagpoles that hook onto the ladders on the back of RVs, but then they added this other adapter that fits onto any flat surface. And they made, uh, they have a 3D printed adapter to hold the Starlink dish. And what's great about this is you can put it up and down without climbing on a ladder. You can do it just from like right here because it just tilts and comes right out of that space. If you'd like to find out more about my journey on the doodle bus or check out my artwork, my website is nikkimay.com. That's N-I-K-K-I-M-A-Y.com. And that has my artwork, my web design and stuff. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook and everywhere at Nikki May Art, N-I-K-K-I-M-A-Y-A-R-T. I've just started an Instagram for the bus and it's doodlebus.art. So it's D-O-O-D-L-E-B-U-S dot art. If you're also an artist and you're interested in the business side of art, you can listen to my podcast. It's Stardust Society. Dot com and it's for artists and other creative professionals uh, to help you get past fear and procrastination and grow your art business and it's s-t-a-r-t-i-s-t -T -T society stardust society thanks for checking out the doodle bus um, i hope that you enjoyed looking at it as much as i've enjoyed showing it off <laughs> <laughs>